So you're thinking of moving to New Orleans, Louisiana or the surrounding areas. Well, you've come to the right place. Today, we're gonna talk to you about what does $400,000 get you in the French Quarter? I've got a few houses here. I'm gonna give you some information and throw up some pictures as well so you can get a really good idea of what 400,000 is gonna get you for the money. Whether you're looking to buy a home that's gonna be your primary residence or your second home or maybe even an investment property, at a 400,000 price mark, I don't think that you can go wrong. It's such a great and fun area and hopefully you've checked out some of the other videos as well to know how fun and awesome the French Quarter is and what kind of amazing and unique properties they actually have for sale. So for $400,000, we're gonna first start on Royal Street, and this is actually a condo. Now, if you haven't already watched what you can get for 300,000, pretty much everything for 300 grand seemed to be a condo. So check that out if you haven't already. Now we're talking about a condo again, it's $415,000, two bedroom, one bathroom, built in 1922. It's 900 square feet or 461 per square foot for the asking price. The HOA dues are 536 per month or the condo dues, kind of interchangeably terms there. It is a freshly renovated condo in the heart of the French Quarter. Brand new floors, kitchen, bathroom, and more. New appliances as well. Beautiful exposed wooden beams and stunning exposed brick mixed with a sleek modern renovation perfectly combines the old with the new kind of like eclectic and i love that style of mixing the old with the new the further details on this is there a lot there's a lot of excellent natural light and again if you watch my other videos you know like i'm all about the natural light it just makes you feel good it looks good it brightens up the whole space that's really really cool so now we're gonna move on to the next house, number two, which is actually on Esplanade Avenue. And shocker, shocker, it is another condo. So let's talk a little bit about the condo versus the single family. What you don't wanna forget about is with the condo, you're going to almost always, but not always, but almost always pay condo dues that are likely more than you would pay for home insurance. And with the condo, you still need home insurance, but it's not a full interior exterior home insurance, it's interior only. So typically if you're comparing, comparing buying a $400,000 house to a $400,000 condo, from the point of view of the monthly payment, the condo is always gonna be more, but you don't have to take care of the outside and you don't have grass to cut and you don't have landscaping to pay for, right? So there are pros and cons to all of that, of course. This particular condo was built as the model unit. Um, it is listed for 425,000, two bedrooms and two and a half baths, built in 1872. It's 1,084 square feet, so it's compared to the $300,000 price range and what we've talked about so far in the far in the $400,000 price range, this is like the biggest square feet feet that I have seen. It's $392 per square foot. The condo dues are 418 a month. It's got a huge living room and dining room with French doors that overlook an atrium. Such a nice added bonus. The primary bedroom includes a large dressing room, which makes for a great office, workout room, nursery, or maybe even a luxury closet. There's 10 foot ceilings and a wall of mirrors in the living room making the space feel even more spacious. It's kind of a miracle, like how much a mirror can do to a space. The elevator is conveniently located. The courtyard is lush and there's an absolutely luxurious and glamorous and amazing pool. I have not seen that in the 300 range or what we've talked about so far in the 400 range. So that is a huge bonus because let's face it, it's always hot and muggy and the French Quarter, and we pretty much don't have a, win a winter. So a pool is very, very nice for sure. The shared balcony is just steps away that overlook the beautiful oak lined Esplanade Avenue. 
It is a long established self-managed association and it really appears to be well run. Now, if you haven't already liked, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified. And if you're moving in nine days or 90 days and looking to buy real estate, please give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. I'm at 985-300-LOAN or weeksteam.com. All right, we've got two more houses to cover in the $400,000 range today. This next one is another condo. And this time we're on St. Peter Street. It's 429,000 built in 1892. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, 770 square feet. That's 557 per square foot with condo dues of 421 a month. Now this place is located in the heart of the action. It is literally steps away from Bourbon Street. Yes, steps away from Bourbon Street. It's beautifully renovated with top end kitchen and bath finishes. The historical architecture details carefully preserved. So that's nice. They really focused on preserving these unique details. Original heart of pine floors and an original period trim is throughout, so very unique. Stunning exposed brick and fireplaces and quaint outdoor patios around back are nice bonuses for this place. This condo is the perfect combination of modern renovation mixed with historical touches. Last but not least, place number four is going to be on St. Philip Street, and you guessed it, it is another condo. This one's listed at 430, which is 369 a foot. That is the lowest on end of what we've talked about. So very low per square foot. The cost is 430 with two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms. It was built in 1849. It's 1165 square feet. So it is really big compared to our other ones. It's 369 a square foot, which is really low compared to our other ones. The condo dues are 607 a month. Now this is a beautiful condo in a, in a historic New Orleans building. There are exposed brick walls, custom spiral staircase, iron railings. I love exposed brick. I love spiral staircase. I love iron railings. So this has got all of those really cool touches. There's gorgeous exposed beams upstairs along with the unique historical touches throughout the whole place. There's gated off street assigned parking. Yes. That's awesome. You don't get that with most of these other places. There's spacious covered wrought iron gallery over the barracks. There's stunning views of the French Quarter and walking distance to just about anything and everything. So that one's really, really cool. Good price, bigger in size, <clears throat> lesser per square foot. So definitely something you wanna check out if you're looking to spend in the 400s and buy in the French Quarter, whether it be the primary residence, secondary residence, or maybe an investment property for you. So I hope this has helped. Please be sure to drop me a comment if you're liking the content and let me know what else that you might wanna see about New Orleans and the surrounding areas. Thank you again for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you around town.